Welcome back to Bosa Race Roundup, the final round of the 2015 Kia Touring Car Championship. Nine drivers on the grid for the final round in the second part of the double header. Scott Malcolm takes the pole from Neil Bamba and Simon Underhill. Ricky Green is missing and the big question tonight is will MKB Racing finish off top in the team championship? Two drivers to them against Jonathan Beresford for Disaster Racing. With pride at stake it's down to the grid for the start of the race. A rather bare grid tonight as everybody gets off the line. Scott Malcolm from Bamba and Underhill. Martin Glenicky looking to come up the inside in the rather colourful Kia. So Scott Malcolm takes the lead through the first corner from Bamba and then Underhill. We're running over 30 laps here tonight because it's the short course. Each lap is under a minute, around 55-56 seconds. Well, tonight's really about one thing and one thing only. Who will be crowned the team champions as we watch Neil Bamber try and make a move on Scott Malcolm around the left under, Simon Underhill just behind. Scott defending the inside line into the right hander. Simon Underhill has been assured of third place because Ben Hackerson has not attended the races tonight. So with Simon taking third in the championships, it'll look like Ben will settle for fourth. You see Underhill overtaking Bamba, retaking second place as Malcolm runs wide. After tonight, there is only a week till the start of the Aston Martin Championship. If you haven't got your name down already, please head over to the website, get your name down, and you will be assigned the team as soon as possible. Beresford defending now from Ryan Walker. Jonathan doing his utmost to keep MKB racing at bay, but it is two against one. MKB are already top of the standings, so it's not looking good for disaster racing. Ryan Walker squeezing round the outside and taking the position from Jonathan. Jump on board with Martin Golenicki as we follow the top three drivers. Malcolm from Underhill from Bamba. Martin right on the heels of Neil Bamba, alongside him as we come to complete the lap. Nice and tidy from Martin into the final corner now. Will we get a good run through here? Yes. Side by side with Bamba and ahead of him. Martin now look to try and catch Simon Underhill. Neil Bamba coming back at him. Martin defending the line through the first corner. Driving with Ian Thorne in eighth, looking at Jonathan Beresford. Jonathan running slightly wide and off into the gravel. Ian Thorne taking seventh. Switching back to the front of the race now. Scott Malcolm in the distance, followed by Simon Underhill, Golenicky and then Bamba. Neil Bamba doing his utmost to score as many points for MKB Racing to keep that team championship dream alive. Martin Brandon, his teammate, is currently way down the order, running last. Neil back up and onto the podium. Watching Neil Bamba a few laps later now, lap 12. We're on board with a Simon Underhill. Neil making the move on the Martin, getting himself back up onto the podium and now looking to improve on that as well. I'm sure that what Neil will be trying to do is tuck right up behind Simon, ready for the start finish straight. Here he comes, getting the power on. Practically touching the bumper now of Underhill, pulling out to the right hand side. Still there. Simon trying to shut the door. Neil forcing his way through for second place. Lap 14, Bamba from Underhill and then Golenicky. All that hard work that Neil had done has just come unstuck. Neil running wide at turn one, allowing Underhill and Golenicky to repass. Neil back down to fourth. We did say it was all about the top today, so we are back on board with Neil Bamba yet again, this time trying to get past Martin Gornicki. That mistake going off track must have frustrated Neil, but he is soon to make amends, tucking up the inside of Martin through the back part of the circuit.
And we are not finished there because here they are again, Underhill and Bamba. Fantastic scrap all race long between these three. Glenicky as well, just lagging off the back end a little bit now. Neil coming to the outside towards turn one. Ducking back onto the inside. Simon Underhill has no answer to that. Bamba back up to second yet again. With Glenicky now, Simon Underhill you just saw on the right hand side, Simon really starting to struggle with the tyres, Neil Bamba started disappearing off in the distance and Simon starting to hold people up, so Martin's turn to try and force his way past to third position. Simon just touching the throttle, just trying to delicately thread the key around the track now. Martin with the power on, as we watch on the mini cam, his rear view, tucking up the inside and passing for third. With Simon struggling with the tyres, it allowed Chris Buttrell and Ryan Walker to catch him. Simon in fourth, Chris in fifth and Ryan in sixth at the moment. Chris right on the back end of Simon's Kia. We'll stay with these and see what develops over the next lap or so. Chris now looking to dive up the inside of Simon. Simon not offering up too much resistance. Ryan Walker having a sniff as well. We'll continue watching these then. A big thank you to absolutely everybody who's been involved in the championship. Uh, from a personal point of view, I've thoroughly enjoyed every minute, whether it be on track or sat in the pit or doing the admin work or doing the roundup videos. Uh, loved every single minute of it. We still have a few members who are registered with us but haven't participated in a race yet. Please, please join us on track. You will enjoy it. We have got, yeah, we've got some fast guys. We've got some slow guys. You will fit in and you will feel welcome. So please get your name down and join us soon. And just as I finish that, Ryan Walker makes his move on Simon Underhill. Simon now down to sixth. For the final time in this championship, it is the fastest lap. This week it was Neil Bamba on lap two, a 55.322. We're going to sit back as he follows Scott Malcolm. It's about this time every week that I ask everybody to remember to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The more the merrier. Uh, please share it with your friends and family if you know people who are interested in touring cars and things but have never seen sim racing. Direct them over to us, they can have a watch and see what they think for themselves. Hopefully bring a few more racers on board. So this will come point the fastest lap on board with Neil Bamba. The race this week, fantastic action from Gornicky, Bamba and Underhill. And it caps off the final round of the 2015 Kia Touring Car Championship. We've now wrapped up the 2015 Kia Touring Car Championship. With the race over, let's check the final standings. As we all know, Van Delden takes the driver's standings and it is Neil Bamber from Simon Underhill. It's a shame that Ben Hackerson couldn't have attended more rounds because who knows where he'd have placed. A great start to Scott Malcolm in 14th place. Further down the field, despite only joining for the last two rounds, Martin Glenicky gets off to a great start, 34 points from two races. For the other standings then, it is the team standings. How did that finish? Well, MKB race did take it in the end, a 40 point lead over Disaster Racing. A&R Racing finishing in third with Instinct Racing and Bentley Boys taking the top five. That's it from us, don't forget to join us for the Aston Martin Championship. Thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon, bye bye. <laughs>